Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante, and I'm with Jeff Kelly, Wikibon's lead big data analyst, and we are very excited to be talking about Big Data NYC. This is our fifth year, Jeff, doing Hadoop World, covering Hadoop World. I remember 2010, uh, flying into New York City in an ice storm, and uh, John Furrier and I covered Hadoop World. We did the Hadoop 101 with Mike Olson, and really since then, we've covered you know, dozens of big data events, and of course, we've launched last year our own event called Big Data NYC. Really, really excited. It's, it's built around Strata plus Hadoop World, which of course this year is at the Javits Center. So it's uh, Thursday and Friday of uh, uh, October, 16th and 17th. We have three events going on that Jeff and I are going to talk about. So let me run through them, Jeff, and then we'll get into uh, some of your analysis. So the first event really is two days of live coverage, Thursday and Friday from 10 a.m. to roughly 3 p.m. on Thursday and about 5 p.m. on Friday, wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Hadoop World, the guests that we're bringing on, big data practitioners, big data experts, all in the cube like we've done every year. So that's sort of the first event. Uh, the second event is the Wikibon Capital Markets Day where we're bringing in a number of Wall Street analysts and bankers, buy side and sell side, and some of our friends as well. And we're going to talk about what's happening and what's sh shaping up in the big data market, investment angles, how to play big data. And so Jeff Kelly will be starting the day off with a presentation, unveiling some never be seen before forecast and data from the Wikibon survey, another forecast that, uh, that he's doing. And then, Jeff, I'm really excited about this. We have a panel of mm -hmm. uh, great panelists. In addition to yourself, we've got three other big data experts, practitioners, uh, the first is Abhi Mehta. Abhi Mehta, as you know, Jeff, is just a guru. He's a phenomenal individual. First met Abhi at, at Hadoop World in 2010. Ab Abhi Mehta was the big data team lead at the Bank of America and has now since uh, launched a company called Traseda, uh, an applications software company focused on financial services. We're also joined by Amy O'Connor, who is a big data evangelist at Cloudera, and her claim to fame was really she ran the big data team at Nokia, and then, of course, the other person on the panel is Peter Goldmacher, who is Cowan's, formerly Cowan's software analyst and really focused on big data. Now, Jeff, that's, so those are the first two events. The third event, of course, is the Cube Party, Thursday night, right after the Capital Markets event. Uh, we'll be spilling into the, to the party, celebrating five years of Cube at Hadoop World. That's from 6 to 8 p.m. And all of this, Jeff, takes place at the Hilton Times Square, which is about a five or six minute cab ride from the Javits Center where all the Hadoop World and Strata action will be, uh, and we'll be there for, for two and a half days. So I'm very excited about that. I mean, I know you're excited too, but talk a little bit about the presentation that you're going to give. Let's tease that sure. a bit. Show us a little leg. Just a little bit. So, um, you know, as you mentioned, Dave, we're going to be uh, presenting to an audience, an in-person audience, as well as streaming live uh, on the Cube, um, an in-person audience of Wall Street buy side and sell side analysts, as well as some industry folks as well. Um, so, really, the, the genesis for this presentation and the whole capital markets event was um, the fact that we started getting quite a few inquiries from from Wall Street and some private equity as well asking us for our perspective on the big data market. They want to understand where should we invest our money uh, when it comes to big data. How is this going to impact the large players in the field, Oracle, SAP, Teradata? Who are some of the more promising startups in the field? Uh, and most importantly, from my perspective, how is this going to impact practitioners? What are they going to do with the technology and how is that going to impact uh, various markets? So that was really the impetus for the event. Um, so we're going to try to answer some of those questions for our Wall Street audience. Well, it's hard, right? Because, I mean, <coughs> who do you have for public companies that are big data pure plays? I mean, there's like Splunk, uh, Tableau, of course their symbol is, is data, there's, there's Click. Great. They got a great right? symbol, then there's um, Click, yeah. So you got kind of those three pure plays. Um, well, uh, pure uh, plays, uh, I mean, others well, big data, I mean, how you define big data is, you know, you ask 10 people, you get 10, 10 different uh, definitions. So when you say, are these pure play big data, 
vendors? Well, they're certainly in the market. They have different angles on it. Tableau and Click are on the visualization, the self-service BI side, which, you know, whether that's can be applied to big data, not always big data use cases. You've got Splunk, which is generally, that, that's probably the closest to a pure play big yep. data uh, vendor. Um, and it's interesting, you know, we, we just came back from Splunk's conference uh, last week. Uh, earlier in September, we were at Tableau's conference, uh, and I'll be attending Click's conference in uh, next month. Um, but at those previous two con conferences, Splunk and Tableau, I mean, the interesting thing is, you go to these shows and you see the enthusiasm of the attendees, their customers, uh, and it's, you know, I've said before, it, it's, it's closer to a revival than a technology vendor show. And you compare that to the vibe that we see at some of the other technology shows, which I, I won't name, but uh, some of the larger players, and it's a very different atmosphere. Um, their customers are fired up, they're excited, and I think the bottom line is, the reason for that is they're getting value for their investment in Splunk and Tableau. So you got those three sort of semi-big data plays, but you know, everybody's waiting for the, the big IPOs. Mm. You know, where's Cloudera, where's Hortonworks, where's MapR, uh, and, and, and others that are sort of raising gobs of cash, staying private. So that's right. a big question that we want to address with Wall Street. Where are all the IPOs? Is there going to be a market here? What's going to happen to the likes of Oracle, SAP, Teradata? Are they going to get disrupted, or are they going to eat these smaller mm -hmm. companies, right? We're going to talk about We're that. We're going to talk about that. Not, not going to give away too much right now on, on how we see that. I uh, want everyone to attend the, uh, the presentation and the panel, but I would say this. The, the, the vendors you mentioned in the Hadoop, the NoSQL space, whether it's Cloudera, Hortonworks, MapR, and then you've got MongoDB and Datastax and companies like MarkLogic on the NoSQL side, they are for sure disrupting the traditional markets. So there's no question about that. We, we know that from, uh, you know, kind of just looking at the market, but we also know that from speaking with practitioners. We've done a number of surveys, we talk to practitioners pretty much every week. We have a cube gig these days, it seems like, and we're talking to practitioners there. We've interviewed hundreds of big data practitioners and, and would-be big data practitioners, um, and we know that those types of companies and the technologies that they're um, commercializing are in the process of uh, disrupting some of the more traditional players, the traditional data management markets. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about that, how they're doing that. The prospects, as you said, for those companies in terms of going public, they're raising a lot of money, um, may have put off IPO for some of those players because they don't need the cash right now. Um, and then, of course, the big question, what's going to happen to the enterprise whales? As you said, are they going to eat these, the, the minnows and the, um, and the tuna, as you call them, the smaller players in the Hadoop space? Even if they do, does that solve their problem um, around the economics of Hadoop and NoSQL? So we'll talk about that as well, um, and you know we'll dive into a few different vendors. I know Oracle is one vendor in particular that Wall Street's very interested to hear how we feel that they're going to adapt or not adapt, and what their prospects are, and kind of the age of big data and cloud. Okay, so again, these three events, All Day Cube, Thursday and Friday, the Capital Markets again, event Thursday at four o'clock uh, in the Empire Room, and then the Cube Party in the Liberty Room uh, at uh, six o'clock, and if you can't attend live, check out siliconangle.tv or live.siliconangle.tv. We'll be broadcasting all three of these events. Uh, unfortunately, the Cube Party and the Capital Markets event is sold out. Uh, we've got over 300 people attending. Uh, that's, that's, not, that's not unfortunate for us. It's great. <laughs> it's great for the attendees, but unfortunately we can't accommodate any more folks. You know, send me a note uh, if you really want to attend. There's maybe some people that, that can't go. I've asked people, I sent out an email this morning saying if you can't make it, email me to let other people who want to go in because the line's outside the door, but we're very excited. So we'll see you in NYC, we'll see you in New York City. Thanks for watching everybody. This is The Cube, the Cube Conversations with Jeff Kelly, Big Data NYC this week, we're excited. Hope you are too, talk to you soon.